The NBA draft is officially set. It is now time for my first mock draft of the year, lottery edition only, 500 likes, and I will do my traditional 1 to 30 mock draft. But now, let's get into it. For the Spurs, I have Victor Wembenyama on tankathon.com. He's listed at 7'5", 225 pounds, freakishly long wingspan. Let alone that, he has great touch and handle and a beautiful looking shot. He's a clear-cut favorite to be the number one pick. So for the Charlotte Hornets, Scoot Henderson, 6'2", is in line to be the next great point guard in the league. He has amazing feel for the game in terms of his passing ability. He's built like an adult already. He has all the tools to be an elite defender as well. And that's just the icing on the cake because his quickness, athleticism, and craft makes him a handful to guard. The Portland Trailblazers, I gotta go with Brandon Miller. It is a wing-driven league, and he has a chance to be elite at that position. 6'9", incredible wingspan, great defensive instincts, while having a great shooting touch. Right away, you're guaranteed a wing who can produce on both ends of the floor. If he can become a consistent on-ball creator at the NBA level, then we are really talking. With the Rockets pick, I'm going with... Amen Thompson at 6'7 is an elite athlete. You can give him the rock and he will either create for himself or others. He has quick passing instincts and he's extremely aggressive downhill. He's just going to produce offensively on ball for others or himself. If he improves that three-point shot, looks for the mid-range a little more, he's really going to be something special offensively. I got the Detroit Pistons taking... A Sir Thompson, 6'7", is also an elite athlete. He's more of an off-ball oriented player and loves cutting and creating offense off the catch with his unreal quickness and great handle and leaping ability. His smoothness around the rim is beautiful. His brother has more upside offensively on ball. However, defensively, he is more polished where he projects to be an elite perimeter and interior defender. Let me tell you, the Orlando Magic are building something and they're going to add this dude. Anthony Black is 6'7", but he can handle the offense like a point guard at times with his great feel. He's going to be able to get it done on both ends of the floor. Offensively, scoring-wise, he has so much potential. Do not sleep on him. And with the Indiana Pacers pick, I'm taking... Jarrett's Walker, the most underrated player in the draft in my eyes. Listed at 6'8", looks bigger than that because he's built 220 pounds. He's going to be a great rim protector and has the foot speed to guard the perimeter, and he can pretty much guard any position. Offensively, he can operate on ball and stretch the floor, or put him in the dunker spot he produces anywhere, and he's a freak on the glass. Future all-star in the making. The Washington Wizards are back, and I got them taking Cam Whitmore, freakishly built already, 6'7", 225 pounds, he has the handles to create his own shot, whether it's hitting a jumper or getting to the basket. He gives me Jalen Brown vibes. He is one of the most desired archetypes in the league as well. The Utah Jazz, I got them going with Kaysen Wallace. One thing I learned is trust Kentucky guards. He has a great feel offensively with sweet touch and footwork from multiple distances. He can produce on ball and off ball and projects well defensively. Not many suspected the Dallas Mavericks being in the lottery with Luka, but here they are and I have them taking Taylor Hendricks, 6'9", very long wingspan, great off ball player who can stretch the floor and finish off cuts with his size and athletic ability. Defensively, he's going to be elite. He will be snagging rebounds, blocking shots, and will just take up a lot of space. The Orlando Magic got another lottery pick this year, and I'm taking Keontae George, one of the best shot makers in the draft. He low-key gives me Devin Booker vibes with the way he moves. He has potential to be that type of three-level scorer who can rise from anywhere at any time with the lift on his jumper. His handle allows him to get to his spots as well. He can be very special offensively. The Oklahoma City Thunder are looking for another steal, so let's go with... Grady Dick is one of the best off-ball players in this draft. He can spread the floor and shoot it on the move, off the dribble, it doesn't matter. He's knocked down. He has a great feel in terms of moving off-ball and cutting to open areas and finishing off the dribble at the rim. 
The Toronto Raptors are going to go with Jet Howard at the impressive size of 6'8", is arguably the best shooter in the draft. All-around shooter. He can run off screens, and he just needs a little bit of airspace to fire. He's not the quickest, but he has a great feel to navigate and find ways to create enough space to hit his jumper. He doesn't need any space, and honestly, contests don't affect him. He really gives me Klay Thompson type vibes. The New Orleans Pelicans got talent, but they need more talent, and here it is. Dariq Whitehead got one of the sweetest shooting strokes in the draft. 6'6", he can shoot off the catch and off a screen, 42% from three. He can create off the dribble occasionally and use his size to shoot over anyone. Hopefully, he can improve in that area. He has a great IQ and can be a two-way wing one day in the NBA. 